Well, good morning, Stamping Friends. How is everyone doing today? Today is Tuesday, August 25th, and I hope you're all having a great day. I had a great weekend. It was my birthday this weekend. Many of you may know that because I did a, I kind of cheated and I did a taped version because I was so busy that day on my birthday, but I had a really awesome day and another year older. Why do birthdays come so fast the older you get? But anyway, it's back to work here and so I'm happy to share with you. You know, we're hitting the end of August already and it's hard to believe that fall is around the corner. Can you believe like next week at this time? It's going to be September. And so I started kind of looking over my projects and I thought, oh my goodness, I need to show these summer projects before it gets away from me. Um, in Arizona, summer seems to last longer than most places because we're still, you know, in 106 degree weather here. <clears throat> Pardon me. So it still feels like summer and it's hard for me to get my fall things out when it's still really, really hot. But I'm not complaining. I like the heat. I think I'm the only one in Arizona that enjoys the heat, but um, most people try to escape. But anyway, that's beside the point. So I'm excited to share with you a summer project, but you could use it into fall and you'll see why. But um, I just think it's a really fun card and it's a masculine one. So sometimes we struggle with masculine cards and it's hard to think of things for the guys. But you know what? They have birthdays like all of us and events. So it's important that we um, remember to do cards for them as well. It's just easier with girls because there's so many more things to choose from. So. Let me flip my camera around and show you my hand for the day. <laughs> oh, and um, let me, so I just need to flip so you don't see my ceiling. And then let me get this there. I think that looks pretty good. Make sure I get the bottom of the paper. And then here's my host code. Hmm. I don't have a big workspace this time, but that's all right. Okay, so today's project is using the stamp sets called Field of Flowers and a Good Man. Now, if you don't have a lot of masculine um, stamps in your stash, this is the one I highly recommend. I love the graphics on here, but even more than that, I love the sentiments. And so this is kind of a keeper in my stash because they're just really great masculine sayings. And um, you know, you, as you know, you don't always have to use those graphics. And then I combined it with Field of Flowers, which kind of seems like an odd combination, doesn't it? But you'll see how I did this. And this actually was, one of my projects for Creative You. Now I wanna explain again how my classes work because if you're new to my YouTube or my YouTube or Facebook page, um, you may not know this. So each month I do a class to go, which means that I have like usually three different tiers of pricing and then um, you get the kit and all the pieces cut and then they're, um, they're only good for like the first of the month through maybe about the 10th or 12th. I um, just kind of look at the calendar and how the days fall. But that's every month that happens. And then I also have a whole different program called Creative You. And the way you can participate in that is if you are local to Arizona, and I live in the, I kind of live on the border of three suburbs. It's Phoenix, Cave Creek, and Scottsdale. So I'm kind of on the north end, but it doesn't matter. I have people that drive about an hour to come to my classes and it's only once a month. So you can either come live and we stamp right here at my home and then um, you get the th free PDF. And if you can't make it, you know, you still get the kit now remember, with um, Stampin' Up's policy, I'm not allowed to stamp for you, but I can have the pieces and um, all the embellishments and um, punches and embossing and stuff like that all ready to go, and then you just um, do it at home. But what if you don't live in Phoenix? Then you can do it by mail, and all you have to do is put in a $35 order or more, and now that's before tax and shipping, and then that qualifies you for the projects. You do have to use the host code though, and that is always found on my blog on the right hand side, and you'll have the month host code there. So you can find it each month easily. 
Now, if your order is over 150, then skip the host code and you just take advantage of the host rewards yourself and you can pick out some free things on your own that can go towards your order. But whether your order is $35 or more or $150, you still qualify for the three projects that we made. All right, and that will be in kit form and then I'll just automatically send those to you for free. So that's called Creative You. So remember, it's classes to go or Creative You. All right, let's get started with today's card. If you are in my Creative You, you've already made this and done this because this is one of the cards from our July class. All right, so isn't that cute? It's all made out of punches or dies, and I use quite a variety of them. So I'll show you each one and, and how I did this. And then I just pulled the sentiment, you do a great job of being a great guy. So isn't that fun for the guy who mows the lawn? Or maybe you're, if you have a landscaper, maybe he's the one that would get this card. All right, so first I'm gonna show you the dies that I used. <clears throat> um, these are not, all in one set these I pulled them from different sets this is from the happy set and it's just kind of like a cloud form that's really all I'd use this for but you could use it for many different things this one is from stitch so sweetly this one is from smooth sailing and this is from stitch be mine so if you don't have all these different dies then you should buy them. <laughs> I know that'd be a big investment. So if you have maybe a heart or something, you probably could substitute or something kind of that shape or if you want to cut out your own. But it's just so simple with dies. So um, when you get your dies, kind of look through them and see what else you might be able to make with them. All right, so for starters, we're gonna use Granny Apple Green and this is an eight and a half by five and a half sheet of cardstock and I just scored it on the long side in half and um, that would be at four and a quarter here and then just fold on the score line. All right, we are gonna set that aside and build um, the card now. Oops, I forgot my snail. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is take a piece of computer paper and this is just five and a half by five and a half. It really doesn't matter. And then I just die cut this on the top and we're gonna make a little cloud stencil. And I'm gonna get a sheet of computer paper to set under it because I don't wanna get my mat all inked up. And then we'll just take a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is five and a quarter by four. And we're just gonna place it, um, whoops, wrong way. <laughs> the stencil on top of the cardstock. We're just gonna make different layers of clouds and I chose balmy blue for the color of ink that we're gonna use. And then you can either use a dauber, a sponge, or I like to use these blending brushes. I have a bunch of these and I um, just got them on Amazon. And I just like how they blend a little bit better. They're, they're a smoother blend. Sometimes when you sponge, you get those holes, you know, or daubers are for smaller things. So I just think these are easier. And I'm just gonna lightly go over that because I want a very subtle sky. Whoops, that's a little bit too light. And the nice thing about these stencils is you can line them up where they were. So let's go a little bit darker. Okay, and then just move it and uh, let's see. Let's go a little one up here and then flip it over as well because you don't want a uniform you don't want like a cloned um, cloud so we're gonna change it up and make them go every which way some darker some lighter and just keep inking it up and do most of the um, front of the card all of it all the way down because the grass will um, cover up the stuff there that's towards the bottom. Let's go one more and switch it. All right, that's pretty good. So like I said, just very, very subtle. All right, now the next part, we're gonna do the grass. And the way I did this was I took a post-it note, which a post-it note is three inches by three inches. And we're gonna Put this um, the sticky side about three eighths of an inch from the bottom so just like that whoops but make it straight well let's see like that we need to keep the computer paper underneath it while we're stamping this 
Now I took the flower stamp from, or the grassy um, stamp from that stamp set filled with flowers, and I'm going to take Granny Apple Green ink and just ink it up. Now the post-it note is there because this is where the mowed grass is going to be. So as you can see, there's kind of taller images here that look like flowers. So I'm going to try to avoid stamping those flowers because I really want this to look more like grass. So um, for this one, do you see that tall flower? I do not want that on my paper on the real thing. So I'm going to make sure that's on my um, post-it note and I'm going to lean in so that I can get this towards the bottom and just ink up your paper and um, All right, like that. Okay, now we're gonna leave um, the post-it note on while we do this one more time because we need to get the taller grass over here. So we'll ink it up again. And again, remember that I don't want these taller flowers to be stamped because I want it to look like grass. So I'm gonna aim this time I stamp um, in between those two flowers. So. Let's go hmm, about like that. There's a couple of them that might show up there. All right, so now when we remove this post-it note, you can see where the shorter grass is that got mowed, like that. Okay, let's build the lawn mower now. So we can set that aside. Now the lawnmower, the first thing we're going to do is take the Stitch So Sweetly die, and um, this is out of real red, and I'm just going to slice it in half. Now the edges are kind of sharp on this, so I just by hand, I'm going to nip off that little corner and just round them a tiny bit, and um, there's just four corners wouldn't really have to do this but I just think lawnmowers don't have sharp edges like that so I just barely took them off does not have to be perfect and now let's grab our um, cardstock and adhere that and this one I'm just gonna make flat because we're gonna put dimensionals on other parts of this now before I stick that on though I need to do the top part of this so this was smooth sailing in basic black and just cut off maybe like a third of it there and we're just going to adhere this to the very top of the mower because we want um, I don't know what this part is of the mower but when I looked online at what mowers look like they put this little something up there <laughs> I don't know what it is we'll call it the engine no <laughs> all right now let's put that down and um, just make it go in line with the mode part. All right, now we can stick the wheels on. And these we are going to put dimensionals on so they stick out a little bit. And um, this is a 3 fourth inch circle. Stampin' Up! does not sell these anymore. I don't know why they took away such a basic size, but probably if you're in damper or a scrapbook person, you probably already have a 3 4 inch. Probably no one was buying them anymore because everybody already has them. Now the next one we're going to put is a half inch basic black and these we will just use um, mono adhesive glue. So let me grab those and just center those on here. Okay. Oops. And this one. Now we need to build that little pouch that holds the grass. So I took a four inch by one eighth inch piece of um, basic gray cardstock. And uh, let me get my scrap again because when I put this on, I, I want the overflow to go on the scrap paper and not on my um, mat again. And then we'll just stick this in mm, about like, let's see. Card. Just make it go on the front of the card about like that. All right, and then just flip it over and trim it off with your scissors. All right, now um, 
I want to show you how I cut out this heart. So let me grab the die so I can show you. It's kind of confusing, but what I did was I put the hearts on my die cutting machine like this. I put them inside of each other and um, I can't remember if I mentioned, but you may want to tape these together so that you don't have to keep maneuvering them and getting them perfectly centered in case you're going to make a bunch of them. And then I ran it through my die shot or my die cutting machine because this is how it's going to come out. It'll come out in two pieces because if you only do this one, it'll this is what this cuts out. It cuts out like a frame. And what we want is this middle part. Now I could just walk away with the middle part, but I wanted those stitching lines because there's stitching lines on the lawnmower and on the bag on top. And so you can run it through again or you can do them at the same times. But this thing doesn't cut out. It just makes that little stitching line. So that's the end result of that. But the reason I used two dies is so that I could get that stitching line. Now you just want to cut this one in half. So just go from bottom to top in half like that. And then flip it upside down and we will add adhesive here. And this is going to make that bag that sticks on the back. So we'll just go right like that. And you know what? It's off the page a little bit, but that's all right because our cardstock base is larger. All right, that's the basics of the lawnmower. Now we just need to stamp the sentiment and let me get it. I think it's pretty straight here. And I just used balmy blue again and don't mind my head in the way. I just want to try to get it straight. There. Now all we have left to do is adhere this to the front of our card. And this, wasn't this a fast and easy fun card? It's so easy because it's all die cutting and punching. There. All right, see, it's okay if it went over. If you want, you can shift it over a little bit, you know, the lawnmower. So anyway, that's our fun little masculine card today for the end of summer. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, I would love it if you um, shopped on my Stampin' Up! website and used the host code if there's any products that you need. And if you have any questions about my classes, I have PDF flyers that I can send you more detailed information. But I'd love if you'd join us. Um, we will be meeting in September. And let's see, the actual dates are September 14th and 16th. Or if you are um, doing or participating online, your order would need to be in by September 10th, and then that will qualify you for September's Creative You projects. If you happen to order after September 10th, you'll still get the projects, but they will roll into the next month because I cut them all at the same time. So if you ordered, say, um, September 15th, that would qualify you for October's um, projects. So just remember that around the 10th of the month is when the deadline is for that month. All right, thanks again for joining me, and I will be back Friday morning for more stamping. All right, take care. Have a great week. Bye-bye.